Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be installing this orange synthetic wig. So as you can see, my hair is already braided down and I went ahead and put the wig cap on and I'm pulling and using some edge control and I'm like brushing my edges back so they don't get caught in the glue or anything like that. And then I'm pulling the wig cap down so I can use my got to be spray and I can spray the front part of it. I usually never put this on camera just cause I like to come on camera with it already done. So it's a lot easier, but I went ahead and just showed it anyways on this video. It's not detailed, but anyways, I'm just spraying that on. This wig cap was super light. Like, I don't know, y'all probably can tell already, but it was just super light. And obviously you always have to go in with your color or whatever or I do at least. So I just had to put a lot more on there if that makes sense. But anyways, I kind of skipped the part of me um putting the got to be glue spray on my hair and you can see my hair is already colored the wig cap is colored now i'm cutting off the rest of the wig cap the extra pieces that i don't need and cutting out the ear tabs i kind of did skip over this part a little bit just because like i usually come on camera with this done already so yeah anyways i'm just continuing cutting off the lace And for this part, I'm using the got to be gel and I'm just using that on the cap, like the pieces that kind of, kind of like flip over or kind of like rolled up, if that makes sense. I like to use that just to smooth them down so it's nothing rolled up. And then I'm using a wipe with alcohol and I'm rubbing the rest of any glue, any anything that's on my forehead, on my skin, I'm just rubbing it off. All right, so this is how the wig looks straight out of the package, or it was in a box, of course, and then it came like this. So this is how the wig looks when I took it out the bag there. Um, it comes with the wig, obviously, and then also this wig cap. Also, it came with a pair of lashes. I probably won't use them, but it came with lashes. Um, and yeah, so this is what the wig looks like out of the bag, out of the hairnet and everything. Um, so this wig currently, it is unavailable. When I bought the wig, it did say it had like two left in stock. So hopefully it will go back in stock. Of course, I will have the link and everything in the description box below, but it will say currently unavailable. So just in case there's any confusion or whatever, it will say that most likely until it goes back in stock. I don't know when it will go back in stock, but hopefully soon but this is what it looks like and yeah so it has a lace or whatever um and that's what the inside of the wig looks like it's not a lot of like room like parting room i guess you can only have a middle part really with this wig but this is what it looks like it has a really nice curl to it it's like a bob length and yeah so anyways moving on i went ahead and i'm now um taking the wig and using my powder and i'm coloring the lace so that it can match my hairline And this is how the wig looked when I finished putting on the powder foundation inside. And yeah, so now I'm putting on the wig. I'm not like gluing it down yet. I just wanted to see how it would look on me first. You know, how the color looked on me and da da da. So I kind of did like the curl pattern a lot. It was just really bouncy. I don't know. But now I'm pulling the lace down and I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. I didn't show like the other side, but I'm cutting like the pieces by my ear off first. And then I went ahead and I'm making my three sections and I'm using, I'm using ghost bond glue. I would recommend using like, um, got to be glue or the gel. I mean, instead of this, cause this is obviously something that's going to hold the wig down for a while. And I didn't even have the wig on for a full day. So don't use this i use this but don't use this use something a lot lighter than this so yeah i went ahead and did that and i'm letting it dry using my um blow dryer i'm pulling the lace down and then i'm using my comb and i'm like smoothing it out and kind of brushing um or combing the hair back so it doesn't get caught up in the glue or nothing like that and then i also went ahead and i used some uh got to be spray i used it on the front part i don't know if that did anything but i just used it 
and then I'm continuing doing the same steps to the other three sections I didn't show the other section just because I just my camera actually cut off but anyways I didn't show that part but you can see what I'm doing um also with this wig as you can kind of see I forgot to pluck the wig like the hairline of it and it kind of does look like it's a lot of hair in the front and like it's a fake hairline like it's a you know a real wig whatever so it doesn't look super natural in the front because i didn't uh do that i forgot to pluck the front part of the wig but it wasn't really that much room to do that if that makes sense but anyway um i went ahead and i cut off um the lace i didn't cut it off completely just yet i'm gonna do that here in a second but i'm pulling out some hair for my baby hairs um now the baby hair is, is so hard to do. I ended up not even like fully doing it on camera. Uh, but anyways, I'm cutting off the lace now um, a little bit more. So it's more realistic, whatever. So you don't see so much lace in the front. Um, and yeah, so I went ahead and did that. Now for the baby hairs, I pulled out all of them. I probably should have like did it piece by piece, but I'm pulling them out and I'm using my Pantene mousse. This is the mousse I always use for my baby hairs. And I'm using my brush, my edge brush. And yeah, you can see me kind of just doing my edges. I did go off camera to fix them because I just didn't like them, um, how I was doing it on camera. So I went ahead and just did that. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And when I come back on camera, you can kind of see it a lot better. But yeah, I went ahead and did that. Um, and because I didn't really like do anything to the hairline, this part was so hard for me to do. Or not hard, but it was just like, I don't know, it was a lot of hair in the front. So it's hard to like make it look realistic, I guess. So now I'm um, brushing the hair down. As you can see, I really like the curl pattern, like the bounciness or whatever of the curls. That was really what I loved about the wig. Um, and yeah, I had a middle part here and this part. But I went ahead and I'm kind of moving it around, seeing how I want to have it, a side part, a middle part. And I decided to go with the side part. It just looked a lot better. So, yeah. As you can see, just me brushing through the hair, it just looks really good. I love the bounciness of the hair. So, this was later on that day. And as you can see, I went in and I, I didn't pluck the front because I couldn't really do that with the wig on. So, I ended up cutting it with scissors. And I accidentally cut a hole in the lace. I actually cut two holes in the lace. Um one right there in the middle i'm gonna show it here in a second and i had one on the side also you can see i cut a huge hole in the lace i don't know how i really did that i wasn't paying attention obviously but anyways i went ahead and i'm just brushing the hair out some more i'll probably give this wig like a five or a six out of ten it's definitely not something you would go out with it's more like a costume or a cosplay kind of wig so again i probably give this like a five or a six out of ten also this is what the back side looks like it's not really all that full in the back but again this is not really a wig i would go out with so but with all that being said hope you guys liked the video and everything that i showed and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and more videos from me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye